I'm Blake Cunningham. Uh, I work for the 76 Software Engineering Group here at Tinker Air Force Base. Yeah, so, so Tinker Air Force Base is uh, what's considered a depot level repair center. So we could take an aircraft and completely strip it down and take it back and get it back uh, in, into flight worthiness. Um, and so, you know, to do that, it takes uh, a large uh, group of people. So Tinker's kind of its own little city within the, the base here that uh, handles all of those pieces. I actually grew up around aircraft. I was born here at Tinker Air Force Base. I love airplanes. They're so cool. You can see them, you fix them, you fly them. I mean, it's, it's like cars, but even cooler, because you're in the freaking air. So my job entails helping find parts on these airplanes that we're flying that are really old, but still have a really big mission in the Air Force and recreating those parts to be remanufactured or to be 3D printed. So our day to day, man, it changes quite a bit. Um, you know, we're really getting into kind of the cutting edge of technologies, getting to work with like the augmented reality and virtual reality side of things. And so a lot of the capabilities that you'll see that we have here at Tinker, we didn't really even, you know, there wasn't even a thought four or five years ago that you could do that. Um, so a lot of the things that we're doing now, you can do the simulations. You're not actually having to burn fuel. You're not having to actually have an aircraft and you can provide training capabilities and you can also test software changes changes uh, just with a, a virtual environment, which is really helpful. These 3D printers that we have here, some of them are the exact same printers that you're seeing in elementary schools that we use to teach our students and our engineers on what 3D printing is, all the way up through larger 3D printers, which now we're printing in metal. We're printing structural parts, which are the same strength as if you took a block of metal and machined the part out of it. I was in the military for 13 years. My buddy told me about uh, career tech, and so uh, that's how I got into the world of uh, aviation. Favorite part about my job here at Tinker is the people. Uh, I get to work with people from all walks of life, different age groups different experience levels and just seeing how everybody comes together as a team and produces an aircraft, it's really interesting. I was waitressing and I was tired of it. And this guy came in and he said that he was working out here. And uh, he told me how he did it and he attended a career tech. He gave me some instructions and I followed him and it led me here. When I went to Francis Tuttle, they taught me how to use the correct tools to do my job. They really gave me the confidence to pull through and finish something I started. My time at Career Tech uh, definitely gave me a good baseline to uh, begin a career in the aviation field. At the very minimum, it's a license to learn. It teaches you all the basics. You know, it sets you up nicely in the future.